Welcome to African Horizon. Today I'm going to be talking about developments in Nigeria. But first, remember to hit the subscribe and hit the bell and you'll receive videos on African Horizon every Friday, in Asian Horizon every Monday, and Geopolitical Horizon every Wednesday. You'll be staying up to date on geopolitical affairs worldwide. So to Nigeria. Now, there, in terms of Nigeria, there are a range of risks that are important to be aware of, but there are also very interesting opportunities and developments. So in terms of the risk landscape, Boko Haram continues to be a challenge in northeast Nigeria, armed clashes in northwest, and in the central beltway of Niger Nigeria, we have continued clashes between herders and farmers. In the southern section of Nigeria, you know, the piracy activity continues to be at high levels. Last year reached one of the highest levels in a long time. And there are also, you know, you know, in terms of kidnapping and kidnapping for ransom, that is a challenge in various parts of southern Nigeria, particularly in Port Harcourt. But in terms of infrastructure developments, there's a range of interesting developments going on. Recently, the Lagos Ibadan Railway, you know, was completed. That is now opening up opportunities. They're going to continue building the extension from Ibadan all the way to Kano in northern Nigeria. They're still working on gathering finance and developing that project. But recently, they also started you know, a project from building a railway from Kano in northern Nigeria to Maradi in southern Niger. That is very interesting because that is going to be a three-year project developed by a Portuguese company. That is going to open up you know, opportunities to develop and ship goods from Niger into Nigeria. And onwards, when the Kano Lagos rail extension is completed, that's going to mean a really be able to develop and you know, ship goods all the way from Niger, West Africa, into all the way down to the coast of Nigeria. We're going to build also an extension from Lagos to uh, Apapa Port and Tinkan Island Port, which are the two most important ports in Lagos, Lagos being the commercial hub in Nigeria. There's also an important project to build a railway from Lagos all the way to Kalabar in southeastern Nigeria. That's a $12 billion US project it's probably going to take several years. They're going to start a project later this year. So, you know, these railway extensions now going all the way along the coastline from south to north, this is really opening up and making Nigeria into potentially an export hub in West Africa in the future. Now, this is important to be, you know, thinking about because of Nigeria's population today is about 210 million. But in 2050, the forecast is that Nigeria's population should be around 400 million. That is almost a doubling of the population in 30 years. So I think it's going to be very important for Nigeria's you know, coming governments to really be working on business development, infrastructure development, and logistics development to really drive economic growth in the future. And Nigeria is also seeing you know, investments in terms of port developments, in Ona port, in Port Harcourt, but also you know, in other port sections. So you know, these are some of the you know, port and infrastructure developments that I think are important to be aware of but in terms of investing in Nigeria and planning business in Nigeria, you really need to do you know, thorough risk assessment, to know your partners, to understand the business on the ground. You, know, you really have to have experience in Nigeria and know how it is to operate in Nigeria. And also that's something to really think about when planning operations and planning business, which is something really to work on now during COVID because you can do thorough research. So plan you know, investments really solid, you know, plan also prepare for the risks and how to mitigate the risks in terms of understanding how to operate on the ground, how to move, how to plan for traveling in the future and really understand how to really operate. So thank you so much for joining and I'll see you next week.